A couple of weeks ago, I listed six essential principles everyone should know about quantum physics. Some of those items are pretty weird, though, particularly the wave-particle duality and non-locality items. Which leads naturally to the question, how can such a wacky theory actually be true? One of the nice things about working in physics, though, is that it's arguably the most well-tested theory in human history. There are beautiful, clear experiments demonstrating all of the strange properties of quantum physics there are still some arguments in the Quantum Foundations community about how best to interpret what's really going on to lead to the results, but the experimental evidence is absolutely unambiguous and without controversy. Here are three of the many, many experiments showing clear proof that quantum physics is real, even the predictions that seem really strange. Single molecule interference One of the earliest and strangest predictions of quantum physics is the idea of particle-wave duality, that everything in the universe has both particle and wave nature. Einstein was the first to really push this seriously, explaining the photoelectric effect in terms of what we now call photons. Robert Millikan's tests of Einstein's theory showed that it works brilliantly, and helped secure Nobels for both Einstein and Millikan. The notion of material objects having wave nature came in 1923 from Louis de Broglie, and the wave nature of the electron was soon demonstrated by the Davison Germer experiment diffracting electrons off nickel, a happy accident, and George Paget Thomson's diffraction of electrons off thin films. Fun fact G.P. Thomson's father, J.J. Thomson, won a Nobel for proving the electron is a particle, then G.P. shared one for proving it's a wave. These days, the wave nature of matter has been demonstrated countless times generally by showing interference between matter waves passing through two or more slits cut in a barrier. On the far side of the barrier, the waves interfere with each other to produce a pattern of bright and dark spots. Back in the day Richard Feynman famously said that interference of particles captures the essential mystery of quantum physics, at the time, this was still mostly a thought experiment, but in the intervening 50 years, the exact experiment he discussed has been done numerous times, with numerous particles. I often use the single electron interference experiment, but my favorite version is probably from Marcus Arndt's group in Vienna, where they watched the interference of thalassinine molecules in real time. You can see video of the data above, and the essentials are in this still image. They passed a beam of thalassinine molecules through a nanofabricated diffraction grating, and used fluorescence light to detect single molecules striking a glass plate on the far side.